So the next three things, or the next four things are kind of like brows and concealer and stuff like that. I got two a twin pack of eyeliners from Black Radiance. It looks like this. These are just black uh, cool pencils. Um, it's supposed to be long lasting, rich color, defines and accentuates. So I haven't opened these yet. I'm very interested in trying them. Hopefully they work out for me. Uh, the next thing I got was a Black Radiance concealer stick. It looks like this. And this one is in 8101. Is this light? I'm not sure. I think it had a sticker on it telling me what it was. But um, it looks like this. It has a slight peachy tone to it. Uh, I think I would use it more for like highlighting underneath my eyes and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to use it for that. And this one is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable uh, Crayon Concealer. And this one is in NC... NC, sorry. N6, 7, and 8. And it looks like this. And I use this to highlight underneath my eyes today. And it's quite nice, actually. Um, I really do enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's blendable. It's very creamy. But yet, yeah, still not too much. That it just slips and slides over the place. You just need to dot it onto your face. And then I would suggest using your fingers to blend it out. So it's warm for your fingers with spread the product. The next thing that I got was an e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. So this is a double-ended mascara. You can use whichever for whichever. And um, I have one from, what's that one, Ardell. It's a brow and lash growth accelerator. So it works pretty good for me. So when I use that up, I will move on to this. Next couple of things I have are lip products. The first thing here is a Jordana Lip Shine. And it's a natural glaze in uh, pink grapefruit. Looks like this. It's just one of those uh, cookable things that you twist it and it pushes out the product. The next one is a lip liner from CoverGirl. This is a lip perfection. This one is in 210 Seduce. This is a really interesting color. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. Uh, it's very nude and this dog is licking me. She's so cute. No? No? Okay. Right. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use this one. But it's an interesting color. And the next one is a Jordana... Sorry, not Jordana. Milani Color Statement True Color uh, Lip Liner in 05 Hope Pink. I'm just going to do a swatch for you. And that color is really pretty right there. That would do so nicely underneath maybe uh, the lip uh, intense. Those would do good underneath the lip intense. So yeah, this one is a nice pink. The next two things are some lipsticks from NYX. And the first one I got was Hot Pink. And it looks like this. I'm going to do a quick swatch for you guys. And that is so pretty and bright. I just need to use that with a little bit of a lip liner to make it look, you know, a transition by hair into my skin tone. The next one is B52. Which kind of looks like that. And that is kind of like a mauve kind of pink. The next lipstick is from Black Radiance, and this is a red called Reggae Red. Looks like this. And it's just kind of like a true red. I have lots of reds like these, but I'm very interested in trying this. It's very creamy, very smooth, and um, it looks like it will definitely stain the lips. So this one is a really nice color, Reggae Red. And last but certainly not least is a CoverGirl color. This one is Cool Khaki. It looks like this. It's kind of a shimmery kind of nude. Not my favorite kind of color, but it would definitely be nice over maybe a dark lip liner. So I'm just going to try to do a swatch of it there. So it's very, very natural color. My lips are a little bit pigmented by nature, so it might look a little bit weird on me at first, but I think we can make it work. Alright, so we're getting into the skin portion of this haul. And she got me two things from Ole Henriksen, I think. One is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. And this has vitamin C in it. And this one is the Advanced Hydration, the Truth Creme. Which looks like this. And two of these are supposed to get rid of um, some of the dark spots that you have. And just make your skin look a lot younger. So I'm definitely going to be trying these uh, when my other face wash and moisturizer run out. 
The next thing she got me was this um, Lace the Hood gift set from Clinique in this beautiful white pouch which I want to use as my makeup bag but I know it's going to get dirty so I'm not going to even try. Um, so this set comes with a lipstick in Raspberry Glace that looks like this. Kind of a shimmery, uh, what should I call this? Shimmery mauve kind of pink. Yes, sweetheart. Every time I try to get you a video, you don't want to pay me the money. This is my dog. There you go. Right, so this one is down here. It's a beautiful everyday kind of color and it has some shimmer in it, which is quite nice. It's not overpowering though. The next thing is this Clinique palette. It is a trio kind of. And um, this one is in Twilight Mauve slash. Uh, no, it's actually three different things in here. It is Twilight Mauve and Brandy Plum, which are the two uh, shadows I top. And this at the bottom is a blush, which is called Smoldering Plum. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit closer. To show you these colors uh it's very interesting uh yeah not sure how i feel about this but i will give it a try though i will definitely give it a try the next few things in that little pouch were the even better dark spot correcting hand cream it looks like this um i have the clinique rinse off foaming cleanser it's in a clear pouch and it looks a little bit like a pearlescent pink kind of thing uh this one is the moisture surge extended thirst relief i don't really have a uh, dry skin so it will be a little bit interesting to see how this works and this is a little bit of a peachy color and it also had a mascara this one is the clinique high impact mascara and i actually tried this once and it's pretty good but it's not waterproof which is good because i hate hate my um waterproof mascara i hate it and this is what the wand looks like. It's kind of like your standard mascara wand. And this is a mini size one, which is a little bit annoying because the uh, stem of the uh, brush is a little bit short. So it just, you know, just working with it is a little bit more difficult. And last but certainly not least, she bought me the Olay uh, X Pro. The little, like, uh, what's this called? This is the clear, like a clear sonic kind of dupe. And I've used it about twice and I love how smooth it makes my skin. It just feels as though it gets rid of all the imperfections. And it has two buttons here at the back. One that turns it on, which is the one at the top. And this is the higher speed. And then when you press the button at the back, the lower one, that is a lower speed. So I would usually do probably about two minutes with the lower speed and then about 30 seconds with the higher speed. Um, I don't know if it came with a little pouch. Uh, she gave me this little black pouch. I don't know if this comes with it. But this is also a cleanser. And it has a little bees in it that exfoliate your skin. It feels pretty nice. But I wouldn't use it with the uh, machine itself. That would be way too harsh on the skin. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around for this very, very long haul. Uh, if there's anything in here that you want me to do a review on, just let me know. Post a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys for sticking around and I will see y'all guys next time. Bye!